So thanks for being here. This is your weekly reading for from December the 4th to December the 10th. If you like this reading, please like or subscribe or leave a comment if you'd like to. And I've shuffled, everything's ready, as I always say, so let's start your reading for Cancer. So the first card you have in your past is the Queen of Cups. And um, yes, you've been, th you've been through a time where you were just concentrating on taking care of yourself and loving yourself. And this is internal love, so you're really concentrating on nurturing yourself, doing nice things for yourself, just so you felt happy. And I'm seeing that you learned a lot about yourself after going through some sort of difficult relationship. You had some really horrible time behind you. And you know, you're still going through these things, you're still going through this process, and there are going to be ups and downs as they have been um, at this time. And um, yes, you're still, even though you're going through this, you're more at peace with yourself um, at this time. I keep on saying at this time. And um, yes, you're more, you're more peaceful, you felt more peaceful than you have been for a long time. Um, yes, so the next card you have your past is the Queen of Pentacles. And I'm sensing that, um, Yes, what I'm seeing is when you were a child, um, you had to grow up quite quickly um, when you're quite young for some reason. And this was a form of protection as well. I'm seeing a lot of protection around you that you were giving to yourself all the way through this in your past. I'm seeing you're protecting yourself. And you know, you're protecting yourself at this time as well. So, um, and you're protecting what you have as well. You're protecting things very carefully. Um, I'm not seeing that you thought, you know, things would be taken away from you, but it's just that, you know, you're just carefully protecting yourself and you're taking care of yourself. So there's a lot of protection here, I keep seeing. Um, the last card you have your past is the Eight of Swords. And this has come up in so many readings this week. So someone, I'm seeing someone's words hurt you deeply. And I'm seeing that that's, you know, that's what these swords are saying to me. Each sword to me is saying that, I'm just seeing each sword is a word, that's how I'm seeing them, and the words are stuck in you. So someone threw a sword at you each time they said something horrible to you and it stuck. So you were carrying around these horrible words in these feelings inside yourself. And I'm just seeing that, you know, um, these words had you feeling you weren't good enough and they made you feel really small. You felt really small like a child. I'm really sorry somebody came and did this to you, they're horrible. So um, you really did feel trapped by these words, and this is an internal trap, that you felt that you know, you were being labelled as something, and you felt that you, know, you couldn't get the label off yourself. Um, you, know, you weren't trapped, you didn't have to be around this person, and, you know, but you felt as if you did at this time, you just felt that you had to be around them. So this person could be related to you in some way. And, you know, this is in the past, so I hope you'll be able to avoid this person in the future, definitely get away from this person. And I really hope you'll be able to shake off these words because, you know, they're, they're just horrible. And the things, when people say these things to people, it's more about them than you. They're really feeling, you know, maybe I'm not saying they're definitely jealous, but maybe they feel some sort of inadequacy and they need to kind of try and pull people down. Just, I really, really hope you'll be able to get over this and over these words. And this is in the past, so I hope you have. Um, and yes, self-care and protection, that's what you need. You need to take care of yourself. And you have been doing that and you have been protecting yourself. Um, so the first card you have your present is the Nine of Cups. What I'm seeing here is that... Um, Yes, this is for people in a relationship. And you're hoping for change to happen in this relationship. So you're hoping for positive movement. And you're hoping that this person that you're with is going to move to a new level with you in this relationship. Um, and this person does want to grow and they do want to love you. They do love you, they do care for you. Um, but what they're focused on is, um, I'm not saying specifically career or work, but they're focused on material things. And yes, I hope this makes sense to you, but they're seeing, they're looking at these things first and then they're looking at you second. I'm sorry about that. That's what I'm seeing. And, you know, you're going to want to tell them at this time that, you know, you want to move to another level with them. And, you know, you don't think, you don't want things to stay kind of stagnant. You want things to be moving along with them. And, but I'm still not seeing you saying anything to them at this time. Um, you're thinking about saying something, but you're not. And I'm not sure why you're hesitating, but you know, maybe 
think about why you're hesitating. Think about why you're not comfortable being open with this person about what you want. Because, you know, if this person is the person for you, you should really be comfortable about telling them exactly how you feel. And if you don't feel comfortable telling them that, have a think about why that is. Now, I'm not saying that this relationship's wrong for you. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that, you know, really think about this, really think carefully about this, because there is some unease around this relationship. That's what I'm feeling. Um, so the next card you have your present is the King of Pentacles. Um, so yes, this person who you're thinking about or who you're with or in this relationship with, um, they've got their mind on material things, definitely. And, you know, they do care about you. I am seeing that they do care about you, but their mind is on material things first. Um, I'm sorry, but I'm seeing that you just should really think carefully about what you truly want and whether this um, is the right person for you. I'm not saying they're definitely not. I'm just saying that you really need to examine this very, very carefully. Um, you've had some ups and downs with this person too. It's like they've been there for you and you feel wonderful when they're there for you. They're fantastic when they're there for you. Um, but, you know, then they, then they retreat from you. So that's what I'm seeing. This has happened in your past with this person, but you've, hold, you've been holding on to this person. You've held on to them. Um, yes, the last card you have in your present is the Four of Swords. So again, I'm just seeing that this person is, um, this is about this person you're dealing with again here. And I know this is very specific, but this is what I'm seeing. I keep seeing this person coming up again. And I'm seeing your exhaustion. I'm seeing you're exhausted by um, the mental energy you're having, your, your, you know, the mental energy that's on top of you. Um, that's stressing you out about this person. Um, I'm seeing that at this time you're just going to take some time to yourself to think, which is what you really need to do. And, you know, I'm still seeing you wanting to hold on, though, even though you're going through this stress with them. That's what I'm seeing. You want to hold on to this person. So the first card you have for your future is the Nine of Wands. Um, yes, yeah, so you're going to start to feel a bit stronger again. Um, after this time to yourself. So it was a very stressful time and I'm seeing that the, you know, the stress isn't over. I'm sorry, it really isn't. I'm just telling the truth. I'm not seeing this stress is over um, with you. Things aren't suddenly going to become perfect now. Um, but at this time, you know, you're going to be feeling stronger than you were and you're also going to be quite you're going to be attractive to other people. <laughs> I'm seeing that other people are going to be finding you attractive. And maybe that's because you are feeling stronger. Maybe it's a confidence thing. Maybe people are going to be picking up on your confidence, I'm trying to say. I'm stumbling over my words. Um, and this could be inner confidence. But I'm not saying you're not attractive. You probably are very attractive. Um, but, you know, you're not going to be realizing quite how attractive you are to other people. Um, because you do have confidence. But, you know, this... This person putting material things first has knocked your confidence a bit as well. So it's been going up and down your confidence. Um, I'm also seeing that you're going to be saving money at this time. So, you know, you're putting money aside because you're going to be planning something or you're already planning something, but you're still going to be doing this in the future. So the next card you have for your future is the Four of Wands. Yes, I love this card. So things are going to be looking a lot more positive for you. And, you know, this is, this is what you're looking for. You're looking for stability. This represents stability. That's what you are looking for. That's what you're wanting with this person. Um, yeah, sorry, single people. I just keep on seeing this situation and this relationship coming up over and over again in this reading. So, yes. This could, this could happen. You could have this stability. You could have this stable relationship with this person. I'm not saying it won't happen. But make sure that this is what you want. Examine this relationship very, very carefully. If this person's looking at material things, they see that that's first and you're second, that's probably how they're going to be. And, you know, you might be fine with that, but just make sure that you are. Just make sure that you are before you go into this. Examine this carefully, good and bad. Examine this relationship. Um, the last card you have in your future is the Nine of Pentacles. So yes, um, this money that you're saving um, is money you've earned and you've worked really hard to save this money. That's what I'm seeing. So, you know, you're hanging on to that. You're protecting that as well. 
And you know, you've still kept up all this earning, this hard work, even though you've had this stress emotionally. And yes, this time is looking a lot more positive for you emotionally and financially with the Nine of Pentacles. Um, but again, I'm sorry, I'm still seeing the same, um, the same caution. Make sure that this relationship is what you truly want before you keep on pursuing it. Um, that's what I'm seeing. So Cancer, I hope this resonated. Um, these general readings won't always resonate with everyone, as I always say. But if you like this reading, please like or subscribe or leave a comment if you'd like to. And thank you so much for watching.